Hey guys and welcome back to Learning Crazy Electronics. In this video we're going to be looking at how I controlled my door lock through Raspberry Pi using a web application. So let's go see how that worked out. Okay, so now let's take a look at how this mechanism works. So this is a crank and liver mechanism and the whole point of this is that our servo motor controls our door lock. So what a servo motor does is whenever I say open the lock, it pulls the bolt so it's open and when i say close the door lock it pushes the door lock so it's closed let's take a look at it in a closer view so let me go ahead and just say close lock and you can see that my servo motor just pushed the door lock so that my door lock is closed now let's let me go ahead and open this door lock and show you what happens so as you can see when I say open the door lock, it pulls the lever so it closes. Let me just show you that again. So let's just say close the door lock, pushes the bolt and let's say close the door lock and it pulls the bolt. That's really to it. Okay, so now let's take a look at how I controlled it through a web application. Okay, so now we have everything set up and you can see my door lock. We can go ahead and look at how to control it through our web application. So first we need a browser open and then we need to type in our IP address and our port number of our Raspberry Pi. So once you have that ready, you can see that I'm in my login page. So first we need to type in my username and our password as well. And then you click login to have access over our door lock then we can go ahead and control it so as you can see my door lock is already in open so let's go ahead and close it as you can see now my door lock is closed so let's go ahead and open it now as you can see i was able to control my door lock through my web application let me go ahead and show you that again so let's go ahead and close it as you can see it's closed and now let's go ahead and open it and that's really it guys this is how i controlled my door lock through a web application i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next tutorial Still looking at me